What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today, especially excited today because the update is finally here, 11.0, okay? Everyone's been talking about it. We're super excited. We, of course, are going to be checking out the dungeons for the first for the first time ever, okay? So it'll be really, really cool. That's what we're doing today. We're going through our first three levels of dungeons, but I just wanted to pop over here. Guys, make sure that you go over to your knowledge base and scroll all the way down and collect all the extra things that they put out because they give you extra gold and different whatever just rewards make sure you guys are are checking that out and uh, and going from there but first things first guys if you hit co-op which co-op didn't go anywhere right yes the normal one did but dungeons is now here once you click on co-op so let's hit play okay we're gonna share it to um our clan with a clan competitor here and we're playing with my man, Piggy. Shout out to Piggy. And this is the very first look at Dungeons to see what we can do. Every, he's waving. He's excited. He knows it's a video. And okay. So, oh, I didn't even look. Okay. So there's a negative effect and a positive effect for this game, for this dungeon. Okay. So you can actually see it top, top left. Those two are what they are. So it looks like, I don't know what the positive or the negatives are. I'm gonna be honest, I think it popped up. I didn't actually take a look at it. Um, but now we know, it looks like there is maybe a damage decrease for a, sh for a certain amount of time, or maybe it's a damage in increase. It's probably an increase because the one on the right is red and the one on the left is, is not red. So that's probably the way it is. But if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships because we got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including the ongoing raffle for you to get your very own Mallard mug. We're gonna be doing the uh, poll very, very soon. Oh, so we don't have a hero to use. How interesting. So let's just spam a couple of demos here. See if we can get some mana. And we're trying to play this similar to co-op, right? So he's got his Zealot deck with Bombardier, Zealot, Knight Statue, Chemist, you know, Portal Keeper, okay? We've got Shaman. We've also got um, Reaper in here just to try and help us along the way a little bit because I didn't really know how tough it was going to be. I didn't know if he needed help on the damage, if he didn't need help on the damage. So I figured it would be better to have more help than less help, right? I mean, that, that makes sense to me. But already we're in a pretty decent spot. He's got to build up some mana. Zealot is a little bit of an interesting card, I think, in this game mode because... I'm just going to level up my, my Reaper there. Because it doesn't seem like you have a ton of time before the whole game is over, right? We're at wave 8 out of 15. Oh, and now they recycle. So I don't know what those things are. So we have our hero back, which is great. I'll just hit my trickster now. Um, but now we have a decrease in mana. I guess they're somewhat self-explanatory, but I wish they had some sort of a description so I would actually know exactly what the positives and the negatives were. But guys, we, we're going to check it out probably at the end of this video, right? sometime in this video there are pretty significant rewards for the dungeons okay you need a key to get into the dungeons you get a key every day i believe and if you have a, a clan booster or no what is it it's not clan booster it's something uh reputation points if you have high uh, high reputation you'll get an extra chance you get an extra extra key um so that's pretty oh let's do that okay okay so, you should be able to get some pretty substantial rewards out of the dungeons, which I'm really, really excited about, okay? And that's what everyone was kind of worried about, right? They didn't know if the rewards were going to be terrible, if they were going to be way worse than than uh, the current um, co-op, but looking at them, they're actually pretty decent. You have faction cores. You get uh, a lot more equipment. You still get gold and things. 
So I definitely think it's worthwhile, and I think we're doing pretty well. Let's hit him with the Dancing Mallard. That four waves until the boss is all over my screen. I can't see my emotes. Uh, go away. How do I get away from it? Alright, I'll just hit. I'll just hit thanks. Let's just do that. We can do this. Go down here. Go down here. I think we're doing pretty good, kids. Doing pretty good. But also, if you guys want to catch me live... I do live stream every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. Um, so I hope to see you guys there. You play with me. You can play against me. It's always a good time. We always get a great community there. Um, and also, put down in the comments below, guys, if you have an interest in me playing uh, Rocket League Sideswipe on stream. Because I actually just set it up so I would be able to. But let me know if you guys have an actual interest in that. Because if not... Then maybe I wouldn't do it, but let me know. It would probably, you know, it'd be a different day. It wouldn't take take the place of um, it wouldn't take the place of my stream for Rush Royale. You know, I can't do that. But I think this is it. Oh, one more wave. I'll just do that. Make it harder for him. What do we got? What is it, Gordon? Okay. Let's do that. And I think we are chilling. I'm pretty sure they're going to take away the Gorgon banner that's in the way of everything. That's kind of annoying. It's bothering me. It's bothering me. Hit him with a good game. Our first ever dungeon run. And it went down without a hitch. So, whoa, he's only got 850% crit. That can't be right. I don't know why that looks like that. That's bizarre. But okay, we got 352 gold. I mean, we only did 15 waves, so, um, you know, that's, I don't know how much gold you would typically get for 1500, for 1500, for 15 waves, but it's probably somewhat similar, okay? Let's open this immediately, and we actually get 50 armor fragments and an avatar, so let's actually take the time right now and just look at... The rewards that we're going to be getting. So right there you see floor 1, you see floor 2. You can see exactly what rewards you're going to be getting. All these armor fragments, I love that. Okay, I'm really, really trying to get to epic armor, ep epic, any epic items. Uh, and eventually legendary, but I don't have any epic items. So I want those things super bad. Chapter 2, you get even more of those items. And then, oh, you also get a, a lap. Uh, oh, do you get a legendary per... No, okay, you get 500 magic dust, which is a lot. And then you look at chapter 3, and it's just floor 7? Interesting. But you get 600 uh, items and 200 faction cores, which is really, really great. But let's jump into another one. I know Piggy is, is waiting. He's going to do it again. And we're going to jump right back in if he's ready. I think he's probably ready. He said part 2, question mark. Okay, bad luck. Okay, was I supposed to be able to read that? That was like a half a second. So now we're going to wave 20, uh, and it looks like, okay, so we have our hero bonus, but we don't have any slow. That's what that looks like. I'll just hit my trickster now, um, but that's but that's what those uh, little emotes look like to me. Okay, so he's got only, oh, we, all right, our board looks a little bit interesting. This here is when my uh, Reaper might actually aid us a little bit, because... We could be in a little bit of trouble, but I'm hoping not not really. I'm going to wait for him to tell me if he's ready. And when he's ready, I'm ready, and he's ready, and we're all ready, and, it, and it's going to be all good and dandy. But guys, let me know. What do you think of the dungeons? I'm excited. It's really, really cool. All right, I, I absolutely love this type of, I don't know, addition to the game, I, should, I guess I, could, I should say, because... It really makes you want to play to get further. They're, they're substantial rewards. So the more you play and the more you progress, and it feels a little bit more, you know, PvE, or you're less worried about somebody else's crit or anything like that. So it feels like a, it's a very new feeling that I think hasn't been in Rush for a little while now. Okay, because I'm excited to play. Not that I wasn't anyway, but I'm excited to play and I'm excited to progress and get those extra rewards. And I think my um, my account will actually see growth from the rewards 
from the dungeons, which, I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what you want. Alright, so, not too shabby right there. We've got a Reaper. We'll get a Reaper up one more time. I think we're in a fantastic spot once again. So, first dungeon, we part one, we got, uh, we had 15 waves. Part two, we had to do 20 waves, currently doing that. And I I'm assuming part three, you get... 30 waves, and you probably have to go up against a Bedlam at the end, but Bedlam... Bedlam isn't tough to take out. Um, like, Bedlam isn't... You're not worried about taking out Bedlam. You're worried about what happens the next wave after Bedlam. So if there's not a wave after Bedlam, then who cares if it's Bedlam? Does that make sense? But I like how it changes every single time. Ooh, did it... Did it switch some stuff around? No, it didn't. All right, I don't know. I don't know when this happened, but I could have done that a while ago, apparently. So now let's see. Oh, oh, okay. So now our buff is it's... Our merge rank is going up, okay? If anyone's curious of what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these guys. So the merge rank is going up. And our attack damage, I think, is what's getting... Which, what's taking a hit. That's going down. Let's do that. I mean, I think that he's in a good enough spot already... To just completely win regardless I, I could be wrong you know we gotta hit him with another did we just get a just get an emo we did didn't we oh no we got an avatar that's what we got okay I'm just gonna do uh, this because we don't need so many things here I'll hit my trickster let's see if we can get something else guess I'll just do that why not That'll help. That's fine. That's fine by me. He might as well move that, um... Here, let me point at him, because he should move that... Eh, maybe not. I was gonna say he should move the, um... Knight statue over to get these guys, so they're on a four rather than a three. But then this guy's not being touched, so... Ignore me! But then you could actually move this guy to there, and then they're all on the four. I'm being nitpicky. It's gonna be okay. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Set another trickster. Hmm. Do that. Hmm. I'll do that. Okay. Just do this. Now we got a copy. Okay. If we could find a rank to, uh, shaman. Nope. Not terrible. Not terrible. So we're basically just playing it as if it's a regular co-op, right? So I'm I'm playing support. He's playing damage. By no means do I know for a fact that that's the best way to go about it. We're trying to figure it out just the same as you guys, right? So um, if you guys have a different strategy, a better strategy, maybe a worse strategy, it doesn't even really matter to me. Uh, let me know. Let me go. Let me know what you guys are rocking. What do you think is the best possible strategy? Both doing DPS, maybe rocking Scrapper, so we're always just worrying about ourselves. Is support, maybe support is the best way to go about Oh, what's that thing? Right, but that's, that's one of the best parts about the fact that they did this change. Is that now we don't know everything about the game. We don't know the best possible deck. We don't know the best possible strategy. But we're gonna find out, and we're gonna work, try and work out, take, work this out together to figure that out, and that's always super fun. So let's just do that. Uh, I'll just spam these guys out. Why not? Um, another one. Let's go. Uh, I'll just do that. All right. Not ideal. So I was right. Bedlam in three waves, but again, Bedlam really. The only reason Bedlam's tough is because you have to try and go further after Bedlam switches you. He's got Bombardier and Chemist and Knight Statue and things anyway. So I don't think it really matters um, that it's Bedlam now. But maybe, I don't know, I'm having a thought. Maybe I should try and do damage for this next wave, for this next uh, part, rather than just keep showing you guys the exact same thing over, over and over again. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add in um, Harlequin and... and yeah, I'll just message him just to make sure that he knows. And then we can kind of go from there. Last wave. Oh, no, one more. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we can do that, though. 
He's loving it. He's loving it. And here is Bedlam. It's going to switch me around. He'll probably take it out pretty quickly. Yeah. So for me, I could probably put in... I don't know. Run the exact same deck as him, except have uh, Harlequin instead of... Chemist, maybe? Alright, so we got another 652 gold. A little bit more because it was something else, but I clicked through it. Let's collect this. Let's just step 100 amulet. Oh, we already know. Oh, actually, amulets, though. That I massively want amulets. All right, we are jumping into the third and final one of this video. It took a little while. Um, simply, I don't even exactly know why, but... Uh, oh, actually, I do know why. It took a while because Piggy had already uh, completed that wave. So, um, so I needed somebody who hasn't yet completed that wave, which I think is kind of a nice thing because you just have kind of a similar situation to where you're just using whales to get, ooh, actually, let's, uh, let's try and get, um, move this person down here. I guess it's not a person, but it's fine. Let's move this guy. I think we're pretty much going to be chilling a little bit, but we don't have whales that are just going to be, like, um, helping everybody out to where um, they can help complete every waves, right? You kind of have to complete it on your own merit. I don't mind that at all. I think that's a good idea. Uh, but we're running a little bit different of a deck than um, Piggy did, but we should still be in a pretty good spot. Let's just... Move this guy out. I'm going to move this guy down. Okay. Uh, we can do this as well. Let's do that. All right. Weird. I just want a knight statue. That's all. Let's do... Uh, I guess we'll just do this. Oh, nope. Still not right. Let's go over here. All right, I mean, I guess we could just do that. <laughs> I guess we could have done that a while ago, but we didn't. Uh, I'm just going to move him, and then I'm literally just going to move him back, and then hopefully we can get a knight statue in a better spot, but I think that's pretty good. So we're using a little bit better, of, not better, I shouldn't say, different of a deck, which I like because with Harlequin and... Um, with uh, Harlequin and Portal Keeper, you can have a really cool combination. Let's... Hmm. I would love... I, I, I almost want to just combine these out and see what happens. We might as well, right? Let's just combine out. There we go. Come down here. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that. And I think we're chilling. But you can move... You know, you can copy the Zealots... And then move them where you want. I, that's always a really fun thing to do. But our board looks great. And notice the difference between our board right now and what Piggy's board right looked in the past, right? He had only a couple, and they got leveled up nice and nice and high, and it worked out really, really well. I'm going kind of the other direction. They're not going to be leveled up as much because I've got a nice full board. He's actually rocking Boreas in his deck, too. Um, but we have way more Zealots on our board, uh, which... Which is going to work out pretty well as well. And I don't think I'm going to touch my board again. It's just going to build mana. Uh, there's no reason to try and get, you know, a portal keeper on the top and move people around or to get something, you know, anything. We're just probably, if I spam my board right now, I'm probably going to get a knight statue. And that's not what you want to see. But this is going to be the final one. I'm excited. Wave 25 we're trying to get to. And, uh, and it should be pretty, okay, wave, okay, five waves till Bedlam. And we're going to get those sweet, sweet rewards. These are honestly, this has to be the best reward system that this game has given us yet. 100% it has to be, right? I couldn't point to anything else that has a better reward system. And, I, and I'm curious to see how the keys actually work. Because I had four or five keys that I could use to play these game modes. And I thought I saw that you get one per day. But I'm curious to see what it actually is. Maybe it's not that tomorrow we'll know. If I look and I see I got five again, 
you know, should I use all five today? I, I don't, I don't have that answer. I don't think I'm going to because I want to try and show off all the dungeon games that I possibly can. So I'll probably record them tomorrow and um, use my keys tomorrow. But for you guys, it might be best to use all the ones that you have every single day, and then the next day they 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 all come back, so you can use them again. I think that would probably make the most sense, but you never know. We got a couple bombardiers in there. That's pretty much just to help out with Bedlam. After that, it doesn't really matter. I mean, Chemist would probably work just as good, honestly. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. And his, board, and his board looks great. I mean, let's hit him with the Mallard. Rock's also rocking a trainer in this deck just to help out take out Bedlam. That's pretty much all we're going to... Or we're not going to use it at all, apparently. Maybe I should have used... Um, anything. Gadget, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? It's, it, realistically, it doesn't matter. Do I have too many zealots? Eh, it, who knows. <laughs> but I haven't used my trainer one time, and it doesn't look like we're going to need to use trainer anytime soon. So, is what it is. We got a rank four over here on a rank, on a, on a square, and on a, uh, Knight Statue. It's only rank 1 Knight Statue, but I don't mind that. If only this rank 4 was over here, that'd be pretty sweet. Could have combined out a couple of those Bombardiers, so we didn't have quite so many. Doesn't really matter, realistically. Yes, I wish this guy was on a, on a Knight Statue, but we only got three waves to go. Uh, and we should be in a pretty good spot. But with these rewards, I love how many um, items we're getting. That's great. We're not getting a ton of gold, right? But I don't know what I used to get for 25 waves. I think I used to get 3,000 wa 3,000 gold for like 60 waves 70 waves something like that so if i'm only doing like a third of that i'm getting 1000 gold i don't know overall right through this whole video all we've done is about 60 waves right around there 65 waves something like that so i think it's a slightly less gold than we would in a normal co-op because I think at the end, we're only going to get about 1,500 gold between the three of these. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get more. I, you know. Here is the last one. Let's hit him with a good game. Let's hit the trainer. Take out. Oh, it's Warlock. Oh, okay. 25 is Warlock. And there she is. Oh, he's got a level 20 trickster. Hit him with a good game. Let's check out the stats. He ended up doing more stats than me. I don't know why it says that he has 850 crit. Um, That must be something to do with the game mode. Like, he's playing with me because I invited him so he only gets 850 crit I, I really couldn't tell you that could be something that I should know but don't but let's collect this reward right here I didn't even look at the gold I forgot to another 200 weapon fragments 2000 gold so actually we're getting gold from the waves and we're also getting a chest every single part so we got way more gold erase everything that I just said we got a common frame we also get this chest that used to have a legendary in it but it doesn't anymore. But this does have, what, magic dust? Like a ton of magic dust? 500 magic dust and another 4,000 gold. Guys, the rewards are way better in dungeons than anything that we've seen. So I do have two more keys that I could use, but I'm not going to do them in this video. Let's just cap this off with collecting a couple more of these things. We also have a new, a new um, career quest, new quests that we can complete over here. But anytime we get more fragments, I just want to craft them because something really cool could happen, right? So we got that. We got armor. We got a sword. We got armor. Chainmail, which actually love the chainmail. Anything I can forge, nothing I can forge right now. But look at this. We've got one, two bows, one, two spears, three chainmails, okay? And we've got, I think those are the same, right? Yeah. So we are, oh, we're, we're two common chain mails away from getting a third which in turn would um oh that's knight's armor is this also knight's armor hunter's jacket i don't know we're very close to getting an epic so i'm very very excited but that's going to be the end of this youtube video guys if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video